fearful, hushed voices. The locals speak of an elusive but dangerous beast lurking in this desert. I have been summoned to eradicate this demon of the dunes and restore serenity to the sand. Will the ancient methods lure it into the open? The tan sand van has taken the bait, but I've made a crucial error. The beast has spotted me and is on the attack. I'm left with no choice but to flee its wrath, for now. One day, I shall return to triumph over terror. Stick around to the end of this video for the action-packed sequel, Dune 2. Well, I'm sure that didn't violate any copyrights at all. Completely original ideas there. So I'm out here in the Christmas Valley Dunes. It's been a few years since I've been out here. I was actually driving the Forester last time I was out here. This weekend is the weekend of my Patreon member meetup. And a big group of us got together out here next to the dunes to hang out, play in the sand a little bit. Driving across dunes is a uniquely freeing experience. You can wander at will and decide for yourself where your own personal road will lead. New vistas await beyond every rise, and it's up to you to find a way over, around, and through the contours of the peaks and valleys. It does require a certain amount of care, as there are plenty of ways to get in trouble out here. Reaching this windswept crest would have certainly left me high-centered and fully stuck, and hitting steep drop-offs at the wrong angle could easily result in rolling your rig. I found that if I can't see the bottom of a hill from the driver's seat, it's usually too steep for my truck to drive down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Even seemingly small drifts can catch you. Oh, dang it. Just about got myself stuck there. This sand is actually fine particles of volcanic ash and pumice, and it's relatively grippy compared to the beaches and dunes over on the coast. With my tires aired down to 15 PSI and traction control switched off, I can roam pretty confidently, as long as I avoid anything too extreme. Doing the meetup out here at the Christmas Valley Dunes was not the original plan. I had some other spots located that I thought would be nice for the group to get together, but there were some complications with some of those locations in terms of space and potential availability. We kicked around the idea of moving out to the Elver Desert, but that was a long, long drive for a lot of people. Someone had the idea of Christmas Valley, and I thought that was a great idea because there's this large ample camping area where I know there'd be plenty of room for all of us, and it was great. Now it is me, and so the weather wasn't 100% cooperative, 
we had a windstorm, well, a sandstorm basically, come through on the first day. And we kind of had to hole up in our campers and ride it out a little bit, but then it calmed down in the evening. We had a nice evening. And then the other days have been just beautiful out here. This is an area that is frequented by ATV enthusiasts, motorcycle riders, quads, whatever. And the campground most typically is occupied by people who are out here doing that. And I was hoping that it was late enough in the year that, you know, it was getting into colder weather and there would be fewer people out. There were other people in the campground with their motorcycles and ATVs. It got a little noisy at times. So I will say future Patreon meetups, you don't have to worry about them being here. Now it was a lot of fun. A lot of people came out here and explored in the dunes like I'm doing right now. It's really enjoyable. It's just this huge, massive open area. You can just drive around wherever you want and explore, find your way up these hills, down these hills, try not to go over any cliffs or, you know, get sideways on something too steep and, and roll your rig. This is a lot of fun. So people came out here, checked out the dunes. There are a lot of other points of interest out here in this area. And so people did some day trips, explored some things, came back at the end of the day and we'd hang out around the campfire at night. It was really great to see a number of my Patreon members again that I'd met before, also to meet some that I hadn't met in the past, hang out, talk, everyone kind of getting to know each other. Really enjoyable, really a lot of fun to see all the different types of vehicles that people are using to get out and camp, explore. This camping area has no designated spaces. You just kind of find a spot you like. We managed to group up in one corner of the campground, but still had ample space to spread out a bit. The people who had traveled the furthest were from Arkansas. Now they were already on a trip out west, and so they integrated this into their trip. They didn't come from Arkansas exclusively for my meetup. One fellow was from California, but he had been in Wyoming. He drove from Wyoming to Christmas Valley uh, in one shot to get here and spend one night with us. Uh, a number of people from the Bay Area, someone from Seattle, someone from Spokane, and several people from Oregon, including people from my own town. Unfortunately, Jason of Primal Outdoors did show up. We were kind of hoping we could get through the weekend without him being there, but we went ahead and tolerated his presence. So I don't talk about Patreon very much. I don't like to necessarily explicitly reach out asking for support, but 
if you're not familiar, Patreon is a website that allows creators like me to connect with people who enjoy the work that we do. And for a very small monthly amount, uh, be part of that creator's community. At my level as a YouTuber, it's not possible to make my living exclusively off of YouTube ad revenue. Plus, many of you use ad blockers or skip ads or various ways that the ads don't actually play. When they don't play, I don't get paid. My ability to get out on the trips and film the adventures that you watch it would not be possible without the additional support that I get from my Patreon community. My Patreon members uh, are able to message me directly, have conversations. Also on Patreon, we have some chat groups, some sort of chat rooms where Patreon members can interact with each other as well as with me. So we all are in there chatting about different subjects from rigs to places we've gone or places we're going, camping gear, camera gear, various topics that we're all interested in. In addition, Patreon members have access to extra content that I produce exclusively for Patreon. Some of it might be sneak peeks of trips or sneak peeks of things that I'm doing on the truck. There are even complete mini episodes of little adventures that I've taken that I didn't put on the channel, but that I did put on Patreon. So once or twice a month, I release some kind of video on Patreon that is content that does not go onto the channel that the rest of you see. Now, I don't want to go on and on about this, but if you're interested in learning more about becoming part of my Patreon community, uh, I will put a link in the description below that will take you to it. You can actually join for free and be a free member. Most of the content is locked and only available to paid members, but I do put some information there for free members and it just gives you a chance to kind of get a feel for what you would be getting if you were a paying member of my Patreon community. I have returned to this desolate expanse, and this time I shall not fail. I will be stealthy like a panther on the sands, and catch my foe unawares. Beckoning the beast was bad advice. Thanks a lot, Zendaya. I must choose my path carefully not to arouse suspicion. My only hope is to loop wide and come up on it from behind. by surprise. The tan sand van has spotted me and is attempting to evade. Computer, activate targeting system. Targeting system activated. Uh, I can't quite get a lock. Targeting system can lock on. Computer, let's try it again. Targeting system activated. Targeting system can lock on. All right, this is it. It's now or never. Targeting system activated. I've got one shot to get this right. was good, and the hunt was noble, and with great satisfaction, I shall depart the dunes.
So those of you who are there, who are watching this, thank you for coming out. It was great to see you, great to meet you. I hope you had fun in spite of the few things that went wrong. Hopefully it'll go a little smoother next time. I will definitely be doing more of these. I'll be doing a winter Patreon camp out coming up probably in February. I will do another sort of late summer, early fall uh, next year as well. Next week, we're gonna get back to the rest of the Idaho series. The best is definitely yet to come in that series. If you are interested in learning more about becoming a member on my, oops, better not drive there. If you are interested in learning more about being a member of my Patreon community, uh, you will find a link in the description below. You can go and check that out and you can join for free and just kind of get a feel for what it's like before you become a paying member. You can become a member for as little as $3 a month. So if you enjoy my content, the point of being willing to buy me one cup of coffee a month you can become a member of my patreon community and have access to direct messaging and exclusive extra content and some other benefits i know contributing isn't possible for everyone and that's totally fine it also supports the channel that you're simply watching the videos you can leave a comment that's awesome so again we're going to get back to idaho next weekend so once again thank you for watching i'm going to find my way out of the dunes here it's time to air up and head home. Oh, here's the angle. Get it up here, Shy. It's going the wrong way. You just open it. <laughs> The whole thing was actually green screened. <laughs> now the wind.